Matt. So, you know, good to get back out on the field. I was very, you know, happy for our players, administration, fans, everybody that put so much into this finally happened. So that was good. Um, I thought the, the fans were really good today. I thought that there was really good energy with the players early. And, you know, we had a lot of chances to make plays in this game to change the outcome. And we didn't do that. And, you know, that's a top, you know, 10, top five team in the country. And if you're going to beat those guys, you can't make the mistakes we made. You know, you can't turn the ball over in the red zone. You know, they go five for five, we go four for eight in the red zone. So do the math there. Um, you know, we're off the field finally on third down and we're off the passer. So in order to beat teams like that, you've got to play almost perfect. And uh, we did not do that today. So we're 0 1. Uh, and so we got to go on the road and, and find a way to get to, to 1 on 1. Nick, go ahead. Lane, it just seems like that uh, connection between Matt and Elijah was really working today. What did you like about uh, that connection in this matchup and uh, how have you seen that chemistry develop over this offseason? Well, I thought Elijah, you know, was really special from looking at film last year and then getting to work with him, you know. When I first, you know, met him after watching, said, "Hey, you know, you got to work harder than anybody in the country because, you know, you're you're going to shatter the school record for most catches in a year. We've done that at every place we've been, and and had he had a full schedule this year, you know, as you saw from today, um, you know, I think he would have done that. And you know, so it would be a lot harder, obviously, with ten conference games and no non-conference games. But he's a special player." Um, Unfortunate, we get the holding. You no, know, another significant play, the holding call, or or else he's going to score. You know, have 11 catches for 260 or something. So, um, and and Matt played really well. Uh, you know, which was good because we had not played well in the passing game the last couple of scrimmages. I mean, we didn't we didn't come close to this against our service team. So it was great to see uh, today against a team that. Usually people don't do that too. You know, they're they're always good on defense, always give you issues, have really good players, and so um, there was some really good ex execution by those two guys. Nick Gabler, coach, I guess the counter to that is Trask goes for four fifty. They have six hundred yards of offense. What did he do so well? And I guess how do you guys kind of shore up that passing game on the defensive side moving forward? You got any answers? So, you know, that was a tough one. I mean, that's about as you know bad as you can play in, in against the pass, obviously. You know, 30 of 42, 416, six touchdowns, no picks. So those are video game stats. So a lot of credit to him. You know, the tight end was unbelievable. You know, two of the touchdowns he's double covered on, on the call. Um, and obviously, you know, Kyle, knows what a player he is, so he forces the ball to him and, and they get two touchdowns. So a lot of credit to them. They did really good and, and we did not play well. Joe Cook. Yeah, Coach Pippen, what, what are you most encouraged about going forward? Well, I think that's obvious in this game, you know, the offense, which had not been the case the last couple of scrimmages. The defense had played really well, so. Um, you know, to have output like that, you know, over 600 yards, you know, against what's normally a top 10 defense in the country. And, you know, look, last year people struggled to move, even great teams struggled to move the ball against them. So uh, that, that was that was really good to see. James? Um, Lane, you had sparing use of Plumlee and uh, limited use of that two quarterback set that you were running in the beginning of the game. Uh, what adjustments do you kind of plan to make to your quarterback rotation and that kind of two quarterback set we saw at the beginning for next week? Well, I think that, you know, we probably would have seen more of John. Um, you know, we we did that early to give them problems and make them, you know, what we call burn chalk, you know, so they've got to figure out, you know, how to play every defense against that with two guys in and and sometimes one was the quarterback, sometimes the other one was the quarterback. So, um, and then with Matt playing so well and being behind, um, then, you know, uh, we, we kind of went solely with Matt there. But um, I think, you know, had 
had Matt been not been playing so well in the passing game and us being behind, you would have seen more of John. Parrish? Did you feel like did you feel like you guys lost some momentum there uh, when you went three and out after falling behind twenty one to fourteen? What what did that uh, do to you guys offensively? Um, I think if I recall, that might have been like the third and one and a half that we did not make. You know, which was a big game changer. That we had a couple third and ones, third and twos that we didn't make. We actually made some third and longs, and so. But I think the biggest momentum changer, you know, was the roughing the passer. Really felt like, you know, two score game, we're gonna get the ball back like midfield and we'd be moving well. And so that kind of puts the pressure back on them, you know, to where they really feel like, okay, hey, this is a game. So, um, you know, really a ton of momentum changed on that. I think there was 11 minutes and then we didn't get the ball back till four minutes or something and they go and score. So, you know, a lot of momentum on that, on a judgment call. And Brown. Coach, can you just talk a little bit about uh, Drummond's play today? <clears throat> you know, I thought he played well. He's played well all camp, you know, uh, two big touchdowns. So um, I thought I thought I thought he did well. Nick? Two quick ones here. One, did you get an explanation from the referees on that roughing the passer call? And two, it looked like Kenny Yaboa kind of got hurt a little bit on that last drive. Do you have any status on him? I do not on Kenny yet. Um, I, I did ask the, the um, referee. Um, he said that uh, he drove him into the ground too hard. So, big play. Joe? Yeah, Coach, I was wondering from your perspective, I know you were so focused on the game, but maybe even pre-game or post-game, what can you comment about the just the atmosphere of the stadium? Limited fans, but, you know, fans over there were encouraged. What what you get a sense of just the atmosphere for today? I thought they were great. I thought there was, you know, for limited people, I thought there was a lot of energy. They were really into the game. Uh, they don't like the referees very much. I noticed that. Um, so... I thought the fans were great. Hey, Gabler. Coach, I guess two more quick ones. One, what kind of conversations went into the pregame demonstration with Coach Mullen? And then secondly, the turnover duffel bag of cash, what was that? Um, we did have conversations, um, you know, with Dan about that, and both teams were all aboard. So I thought that went well. Um, and, you know, we have two things. We have, you know, a turnover bag and we have a touchdown chain. So we let the players pick things out and, you know, do whatever they want. And we have time for one more question from Tyler. Hey, Coach. Um, I was just wondering how you would describe your team's effort today um, against Florida. I think that's hard, um, you know, because the sides of the ball were so different. You know, we just gave up so many, so many big plays, and um, you know, on defense. So it's hard to say you played with good effort and give up over 640 yards. So, um, but I didn't feel like I thought I felt like it wasn't as much an effort today. It was an execution issue. You know, we weren't executing in some areas.